All right, what's going on guys? t Torres back here for another video. So I just wanna let you guys know the reason why this video is going live on Sunday, that is now gonna be the new day that I published. So just like you guys were accustomed to me uploading uh, once a week, every Wednesday at 4 p.m., it's now gonna be Sunday. I haven't decided, it's either gonna be around 12 or one. So sometime between 12 and one, you guys are gonna get your uh, weekly video. All right, so today's video is gonna be very simple, but I figured I'd share it with you all. Today, we are going to be uh, upgrading the lighting uh, in the Type R. Big thank you to Laws Fit, LA, yeah, Laws Fit Lighting uh, for sending that out. I've, I'm running their lights on my truck, uh, the daytime running lights, their switchbacks, their fog lights, their headlights. I got all, all sorts of their um, bulbs in the, uh, in the truck. So let's go ahead and unbox this and I'll show you all the pieces that they sent out. Alrighty, so. As you can see here, we have a couple different sets of bulbs. Once again, thank you all uh, for sending these bulbs out. I really do appreciate it. These are going to be the reverse lights. These are a uh, T15. I'll have a link down in the description for those. And then these are going to go into the dome light, map light, uh, one in the back, and then one in the cargo. Uh, these are also a uh, T10. So, and these are uh, canvas free, so there's no air lights, there's no warning lights or anything that comes up on the dash. So once again, we have a T15 and a T10. I will have these down uh, linked in the description. If you guys are interested in buying those, just click those link. Uh, I do get a small portion back, so if you do buy those, I really do appreciate it. It helps give money back to the channel. So let's get to uh, installing these LED lights. Also, to help out with today's project, I'm going to be using the Acuity Interior Trim, uh, trim Piece Tools. These have helped me out in so many different ways when it comes to installing <clears throat> all kinds of different stuff. When I did the, the shifter, the lights, just anytime you, you're working on plastic or metal or just against the paint, you know, these trim tool pieces are also a great thing to have. So I'll also have those uh, linked down in the description for you to purchase as well. All right, I'm going to do you guys one even better actually sent me an extra set. So if you want a chance to win these, I will send these out to you free, no charge, no shipping, free to your doorstep. All you gotta do is comment down below, LAS Fit, okay? Subscribe to the YouTube channel, make sure you're following me on Instagram, and then go subscribe to LAS Fit on Instagram. I'll have a link to, to their um, Instagram page in the description. All right, let's go ahead and get to the cab. Sorry, I have uh, freaking hiccups. So, the uh, first two bulbs we're going to be messing with are these right here. I'm going to cut those off because those do get extremely hot. So, let's go ahead and get those, uh, those covers popped off and put the new LEDs in. Like I said, this is what it looks like. Nasty yellow color. Nobody likes that. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take your trim tool piece and gently uh, pry up into the light. This makes it, whoop, this makes it super... Simple, it's gonna be super hot. We do not want to do that. Just kind of wedge it in there, get behind it a little bit, and then the rest of the uh, the rest of the cover should pop right out. This one's wanting to be difficult. Okay, there's one piece out, and I'm going in on the side that gets actually pushed in. There's two little tabs that you need to have compressed on either side, and then that'll allow the uh, lenses to come out just like that. And then, simple enough, take the old bulb, careful, because it may be hot. Take that bulb. Uh, I'll do one. I'll do one regular and then one uh, LED. Such a simple, but such a satisfying. Oh wow, look how much brighter that is. Let me get you guys off the tripod and give you guys a, a better in the cab look. All right, so like I mentioned with the trim tool piece, this piece gets pushed in. Go take your trim tool, uh, go like this, and just pop it out. All right, so here's what it was before. Nasty, yellow looking, and now we're gonna go this beautiful white light. That looks so much better. I cannot wait to get the rest of the uh, car done. Let's see if I can do this one handed. I'm pretty sure I can. Boink. Woo. Okay. That was a uh, that was a little warm. Okay. 
Okay, voila. Oh yeah, that is so much better. Once I get all of them in, I will uh, turn the lights off in the garage and let you get a true color of what it's gonna look like at nighttime. And just like that, we now have LEDs. Wow, that looks so much better. All right, let's move on to the back. All right, so we now have the top light on. As you can see, it is super bright. Uh, one thing to note on this one, be careful and not to not let the either the factory bulb or the aftermarket bulb get in your headliner or you will be in deep crap. Also, to get the uh, center light out up top, there are uh, two pinch points on the very end. I just went in, picked one side out, popped it out a little bit, went in the other side, popped it out, and then everything just fell down. So as you can see, the light is now on and it is super bright. Can't wait to turn the lights off. We got one more to do uh, um, in the rear in the hatch. All right, let's go ahead and take care of this one in the hatch. Okay, there is one light that is right there that we need to take care of. I can do this one one-handed and film. This one's very, very simple. Ah, the bulb is attached, as you can see. Uh, all right, there's attached to the back of the housing. So let me go ahead and get that swapped out. All right, so since this light has its own, um, it's built in, I just took a little microfiber cloth since I knew the bulb was going to be hot, and I went ahead and uh, pulled the factory bulb. Alrighty, and just like that, the one in the hatch is now done. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the reverse lights. I'm going to uh, set up the tripod, put the car in reverse, and show you what the factory reverse lights look like before the LEDs get installed. What a horrible and nasty uh, sight to see. I am limited to the amount of space in the garage right now. But yeah, as you can see, these uh, reverse lights are no bueno. I do not like them. Let's get them swapped out to uh, LEDs. All right, in order to change the uh, reverse lights, you're gonna take this uh, screw out, I believe it's a 10 millimeter or Phillips head. Uh, for this instance, we're gonna be using the drill. Alright, let's go ahead and get this tail light out. And then there's two. This should be very simple. You just have to pull these tabs out. Okay, very gently, just like I did. And then your reverse light is going to be uh, this bulb right here in the back. So it should be this one, should be the clear bulb, perfect. All right, so let me go and uh, get the new uh, LED bulb. Okay, as you can see, we have the, the new LED bulbs. Let's go ahead and place it to the side. Carefully pull that bulb out. Put the new one in, back into the stop location, and then always make sure you uh, you twist the bulb uh, back in. So let's go ahead and turn on the reverse light and make sure we have good clean power. Boom! It works. Holy smokes, that is a... Uh, Super bright. Let me go ahead and turn the garage light off and show you what the reflection different looks like. All right, so now I've just turned the garage light off. Look at the reflection difference. That is the factory. That is now with the aftermarket LED. That looks so much freaking better. Heck yeah. Sorry for the uh, frogs croaking in the back, but here is a nighttime uh, example of what it looks like. The output is just so much better than stock. This side is now done, so we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side, and then uh, once I get that LED bulb in, I'll turn the reverse lights on and then all the cab lights so we can see truly how bright everything is. All right guys, all the LEDs are now installed. We got the reverse lights uh, done, the map light, and then the dome light in the middle. So let's go ahead and see uh, what the car looks like. All right, it's gonna be hard. 
doing this. Here we go. Alrighty. Wow. That looks freaking amazing. Look how bright. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely uh, vlog at night if I need to. Let's go ahead and power the car on. Throw it in reverse. Guarantee it we're going to be able to see the... Oh yeah, look at that. So bright. Even in the uh, backup camera and the display. It's shiny. Wow, look how bright that is. That is truly awesome. Super cheap, but subtle, but such a satisfying uh, mod to get done. I did not mean to drag this video out. I'm just shocked at how bright the uh, actual LEDs are. The car's about to beep. Yes, I know, key fob not detected. There is a nice little look at the uh, silver performance side markers at night. It'll focus, and of course, the LED headlights and fog lights. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's install. Super simple. Uh, I'll have a link down in the description if you want to get these same LED bulbs. It was uh, T10 uh, for the map in the dome, and then a T15 for the reverse light. I mean, this lighting in here <clears throat> is straight off the new LEDs. They look so good. Sorry I drug this video out, but one more time, I want to make sure you guys are in the know. Um, going to be now uploading every Sunday between 12 and 1 o'clock. That's now going to be your new weekly upload. So if you're stopping to the channel for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, leave this video a big thumbs up. Even if you didn't like today's video, leave it a big thumbs up. We have some great content coming, not only for the Type R, but for the, for the truck also. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.